welcome to India Business Insights. Today we will be discussing on the development challenges and the adoption of the four new labor codes. This is in continuation of the video on labor codes. Before we dig deeper into this, like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the notification bell for the latest updates. Now let's understand what led to the development and adoption of the four new labor codes. The four new labor codes have finally been approved by the central government of India in an effort to overhaul the current labor laws and develop guidelines that would control employee-employer relations. According to the currently in power government, the real goal is to empower workers for a rich, independent and self-reliant India. There is nothing particularly new about the four labor codes. On September 29, 2020, they were initially introduced in the parliament. They have just recently begun to see the light. Even after 74 years since its independence, India, with its 50 crore workers in both the organized and unorganized sectors, still does not have access to the various social security programs. With these new labor codes, India is poised to become a more attractive destination for businesses, while also ensuring better working conditions and social security for its workers. While there may be some initial challenges in implementing these codes, they are expected to benefit both employees and employers in the long run. Industries have a right to a decent return on investment, but employees also have a right to reasonable pay and secure working conditions. The purpose of any labour legislation should be to protect the interests of all parties, which is a difficult undertaking when trying to enact and codify standards that satisfy both parties. The four labour codes have been correctly placed together in order to achieve this. The labour regulations may be considered historic because they have been around for almost a century, but the central government exaggerated their significance by calling them landmark and game-changer laws. The laws have adopted to the prevailing industrial and economic activity, but there is a long way to go to achieve a fine balance in the interest of workers and the industry. The government needs to work more to recognize that focusing on economic growth without redistribution of wealth leads to jobless growth and socially unaccountable prosperity. The four labor codes, the Code on Wages, Industrial Relations Code, Social Security Code and the Occupational Safety, Health and Working Conditions Code are set to replace 29 labor laws. Over 90% of India's 50 crore workers are in the unorganized sector. And through these codes, the government wants to ensure that all of them enjoy the benefits of labor laws related to minimum wages and social security. Since labor is a concurrent subject, both center and states have to frame the rules. The new rules are in line with evolving labour market trends and at the same time provide for the welfare needs of migrant and self-employed workers as well as minimum wage requirements for those engaged in the unorganised sector. The labour codes have been updated to reflect the current state of the economy, technological improvements and the reduction of the number of definitions and authority. The codes also make compliance processes that support easy business setup and job chances generation as well as safeguarding each employee's safety, health and social security easier to implement. In order to enhance openness and accountability in enforcement, technology such as web-based inspection has been implemented. The decriminalization of small infractions has also been provided for in the labor regulations. Now let's discuss about the implementation. As a step towards implementation of the four labor codes out of the 30 states and union territories, the following number of states slash UTs have pre-published draft rules for the codes. 27 states slash UTs under the code on wages 2019, 23 states slash UTs under the industrial relations code 2020, 21 states slash UTs under the Code on Social Security 2020 and 18 states slash UTs under the Occupational Safety, 
Health and Working Conditions Code 2020. The new labor laws in India appeared to have taken longer to implement. The Ministry of Labor and Employment released a press release on March 21, 2022, giving an update on the new labor codes development but omitting information about when they will go into effect. The industry may use the postponed implementation as preparatory time to cause a shift in attitude towards employee welfare, rewrite their personnel policies, consider how this will affect operating expenses. It's important to acknowledge how closely the problem of employee welfare relates to the well-being of the country. Gains for the workforce will be postponed by unjustified delays in the code's implementation and uncertainty over their effective dates will probably make it challenging for industries to adopt them on schedule. Let's talk about the challenges in India's social security code. One of the key features of the new labor codes is that they extend labor protections to workers in the unorganized sector. However, their implementation and enforcement will be key to ensuring that they have a real impact on the lives of workers in this sector. What's more, 90% of this over 50 crore figure are workers in the unorganized sector. And that, according to the current government, is what prompted the introduction of new labor laws. In simple terms, the codification aims to provide respect, security, health, safety and other welfare schemes to India's neglected frontline workforce. What did the Parliament do in 2020? The Parliament of India passed the Code on Social Security in September 2020. Due to the pandemic, the implementation of the Social Security Code is delayed for one year. Does the Social Security Code 2020 provide for universal security? Firstly, the Code does not provide universal security for the unorganized sector, which constitutes 91% of the workforce. What is the issue in Social Security Code 2020 for gig workers? The code does cover diverse occupations and includes a definition for gig workers and self-employed workers but does not have a separate conceptual distinction between the two. How is dualism a problem here? This creates a system of dual authority and the code does not specify who will be the implementing authority for the schemes at the state level. How does a Social Security Code 2020 try to undertake central and state convergence? The code does not provide a roadmap on how existing scheme of state's social security are aligned after the enforcement of the code. Now let's move to the case study on China and what can we learn from them. What is the issue exactly? On 20th September 2021, the Indian Federation of App-Based Transport Workers filed a public interest in the Supreme Court on behalf of gig workers asking the court to direct the union government to declare gig workers and platform workers as unorganized workers so that they can come under the purview of the Unorganized Workers Social Security Act 2008. Social security benefits from popular delivery platforms like that of Zomato and Swiggy as well as taxi aggregator apps like Ola and Uber. What will be the implication? On being declared as unorganized workers, the gig workers in India will then be able to seek benefits under the Unorganized Workers Social Security Act of 2008. What happened in China at the same time? After tremendous public pressure on important food delivery platforms in China, the companies attempted to end the practice of forcing the workers to register as independent businesses as it was leading to evasion of responsibilities as employers. The government of China focuses on common prosperity for everyone and ensures that there is a narrow wealth gap between the rich and the poor. The malpractices of the food delivery aggregators have brought the state to control these platforms. The government agencies in China jointly passed directions indicating the online food delivery platforms not to set assessment criteria as per optimization algorithms. The other guidelines like respecting the rights of delivery workers and making sure that they earn at least a minimum wage with social insurance. 
the bulge of public opinion in china has enabled government regulation as well as change in company policies what has been the situation in india ironically in india the delivery workers drive the reforms more than the public in 2020 more than 3000 delivery workers from swiggy went on an owners strike in hyderabad to protest the slash in remuneration from rupees 35 per order to rupees 15 per order the strike ended only when the joint commissioner of the labor department called a window operations manager of the platform and the workers union This was the first ever time that the gig workers ever resorted to direct negotiation. In this backdrop, the petition to the Supreme Court is a major step in that regard. What can India learn from China? The biggest lesson of China is that the change in the company policy and government regulation was driven by a strong public sentiment favoring these workers who displayed solidarity for their demands and better work conditions. This is where the public of India should come out and support these workers who constitute an important part of Indian life today. Furthermore, in times to come, they should also show solidarity with them like the Chinese. A phased implementation will ensure adequate time is provided to implement the same irrespective of the size and scale of the organization. There is also a need for educating the workforce, managers, management in a timely manner labor code can't be retrospective but only prospective the country will only be able to achieve the desired goal of accelerating economic growth and unleashing the untapped potential of thousands and thousands of our industries businesses and entrepreneurs to take the country to new heights if the government ensures that they are implemented with honesty and integrity thank you for watching do like share and subscribe to our channel for more such content and don't forget to press the notification bell for the latest updates